Hey there, fellow mobile game fanatics. I'm my time. This is an HL Supercar 2K17, and I'm not back on the cam yet because I'm still just recovering. So apologies, but I will be back next week. And I wanted to bring you this episode just to show you the amazing, e amazing. I'm going to say it again, e amazing, not amazing. It is e amazing, Rain the Rink events now. Okay, it's maybe not quite as good as I said it was, but my ladder games are coming down because I'm even playing quick games in between playing this. It is, yeah, I mean, I mean, it is good, okay? It is good. I am, oh yeah, I'm not even, I'm not even going to go any further. I'm just going to go, go into the game. And I'm currently ranked 451, which, what does that get me? Probably doesn't get me a lot. I could probably push myself up into the top 250 i should guarantee myself at least a legendary pro out of this because but we're not going to look at that we're going to see if we can push ourselves forward but yeah what do i like about this well um let me click on my points and no it's not here there is somewhere here you can click leaderboard Ugh, what a retard it shows you your current points and it now uses the NBA tier kind of style. So it gives you an idea how many points you need to be to move into the next tier. So I'd need to have 1878 points to get into tier 3 and 2822 at the moment to get into tier 2, obviously for the rewards. So it's pretty good. You can kind of judge where you are and kind of how far you are in terms of getting to it. So I'm ranked 451 at the moment, which means that I'm towards the bottom of tier 4, but that's not an issue. So what do we do in this game? Well, it's pretty fun, and I'm going to show you. This is the lineup that I'm using. I'm using my best lineup at the moment, but I will also show you guys a little tip if you are struggling. So first of all, let's just get into the gameplay, okay? So I've got some of these hot streaks. I'm going to use a hot streak, and it's going to give me double points at the end. So the aim of the game, guys, is to get to the top of the period. That's the first thing you must do. You must get to the top of the period. There isn't a cheat that you can log out of the game if you start to lose and come back in. You get your bout back. Your bout is gone. Okay, your bout goes. It's capiche, capouche. See you later. Sayonara. Adios, amigos. So you need to get to the top and win this last battle. Now, on the side, it will tell you what the match is going to be. So it's either going to be a playmaking skating match or a focus and playmaking match. Now, you have the luxury of being able to pick what your opponent you want to play. So... As a start, I want to pick a card that can beat one of these cards. The bonus here, if you beat this card, you get times two points. So ideally, I want to try and beat this card, but I don't want to jeopardize myself getting to the top. So I need to make sure I can win five matches, and I only have six cards. So it means I can only lose one match, in theory, because if I lose two matches, it's going to mean I would need to use more than six cards. Because when you lose a match, you then have to use another card to try and finish the person off. So... For example, if I had a card which did 100 playmaking and 100 skating and I and playmaking and skating was used, this card here would lose 100 from playmaking and 100 from skating and then my next card would have to try and beat it based on its remaining stats, which would be 100 off of each, so 527 and 489. So you want to look for a card. You can use your boost if you need to. If you've got team boost, they're better than self boosts here. If you can look for a card that can win in playmaking and skating and focus and playmaking. So here the key stat is playmaking. Let's look for a card that's got decent playmaking. This card has got miles more playmaking than this card. So we come in. We fight on the rink. If your special procs, then it will proc off now. The card with the biggest stat wins. This card goes down to 0-0. Zero, zero. Boom, into level 2. Here we go again. I can see got a few stronger cards here. But once again, we've got a favourable favorable link here if we've got stick hand and skating or focus and playmaking it's a complete mix up so i just want to go for a card that is better than that card overall this card will do and you go ryan mcdonald boom just hope we don't get unlucky with some procs or whatever it shouldn't it should be fine we'll just click up to level three plus four plus four now the reason why they're plus fours is because i've got double points so it will go to from not plus one it'll be plus two and then i've been get, winning these double double matches okay which puts me up to plus four now, as far as I can tell, there is no correlation to what card gets a double point. So it's not going to be the hardest card. As you can see here, this is the strongest card. So the times two, if it was going to be the best card in the tier or the pyramid level, it would be on this card on the left. That is not the case. So I don't know how that works. And you don't get double points every single go either. So it seems to be a bit of luck 
kind of base at the moment but we're looking at playmaking and skating here so if i look at the card i say playmaking 650 skating and 589 well i can beat that without using any of the things here so in we go lovely in goes that single legendary alumni card up you go hole uh, come on brett you got it bring some new bacon into round two no two star match here which is a shame so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use my best card and just go and beat anyone and some of you say, well, why have you used your best card? One of your other cards could have easily beaten it. Yeah, it could have. But the reason why I just used that there is because it doesn't matter for the last match. Because there's a good example to show you. We've got a card on top. If I lose the match, which I will do with my first card, always not failed. Because as long as I have another card left, I can have a second swipe at the guy. So Ryan Sutter beats me. But now we have just seen his skating has decreased. It decreased by the number of skating from my previous card. If I wanted to, I could use a skating boost as well. And then we're going to go fight him again with my remaining card. And guess what? Landerskog is going to do the job on Sutter. As you can see, he's down to 425. And we still get the win. Bang. Okay, you don't lose any points by using all six cards. There is no advantage to using five cards over six cards. There is no penalty. We earn 32 points. The maximum points you can get is 40. Game done. Now the best part. You get 10 picks. Okay, yes, that game is a little bit drawn out. So... You could do it a lot quicker, they go super rare, but you get 10 picks. Now, 10 picks is pretty good. You can actually arm through these games pretty quickly. Those 50 picks you can get in under 10 minutes. Um, th those matches don't take long to complete normally. Okay, so we've got two resets. Really good for your resets. Get into this event, guys. Get playing it. As soon as they refresh, play, your, play as many of these game nights as you can. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. And I'm going to come back with a little bonus for all you guys. Okay, and I'm back with that little bonus. Now, for all of you out there who are saying, well, it's not really fair my time. You've got a better team than us. You can get 40 points, blah, blah, blah. I would have said, yes, that is true. But when we click edit line up now, this is the team I'm going to take out. Okay, now this is going to fail probably more than I'd like because my supports aren't up to scratch. I've only got one team support, really. And if you have two team supports, this will work. But this is me using completely unleveled, uncommon cards. Okay, I'm going to click on play, and let's see what happens. We are using a um, double point again, hot streak, and boom! Here are my opponents. So playmaking and stick handling. Let's guess. I'm going to use my playmaking boost here and just pray that it's playmaking i could obviously if it was a team one it would be a better card to use here and then we let's do it playmaking stick cannon so i've got to come up against someone with 64 and 67 so 67 and 65 68 68 here we go this is the guy i'm going to pick okay we're going to pray that the cards don't proc but guess what Didn't proc. Whew. Result. So we're through level one. Into level two. Let's use this team bonus for the skating in that. Here's a double point one. So we've got skating is going to be the important one. That's at the bottom 70. Can anyone beat 70? No, but we can tie of it. Plus with a bonus, this is the card we're going to use. Here we go, guys. Just pray for no proc again. We don't want that plus seven if it's in skating or stick hand. Oh, sorry. Or playmaking. Whatever it's going to be. Are you seeing here, guys? See at the bottom, plus four. That's four points I got. I'm using all uncommons, okay? All untrained uncommons as well. Win. Let's go to the next level. Focus on skating, focus, uh, stick hand in the skating. Well, good news. Pretty weak. Let's take any of these cards. Got good skating here. Good skating, good skating. Let's take one of the weaker cards in skating um, and keep one of the stronger cards in case we come up against a better card towards the end. But here we go. We should win this one with no problems. As you can see, it's a lot easier if you've got multiple team um, supports. If you've got one that does, for example, focus and playmaking, and one that then does stick hand and skating, that is ideal and that is perfect. But if not, you have to make the most of what you've got, focus and playmaking. Okay, we've got a 65, uh, 68, and 65, 68, 81, 70, boom. It's going to win. Doesn't matter if he does proc for seven in any either of those two disciplines. He's still going to win. Yet yeah, he could proc in focus for seven. We'll still beat him. 
and finally we can use either of these two cards we've got two pops at the cherry but just to try and do it in one go skating stick handling will go here uh, we're going to lose if it's stick handling we'll win if it's skating doesn't matter that we lost because we've got the second card and bada bing bada boom really sky in the room yes people i have just gone and won um, myself 32 points playing with only uncommon cards so you have seen it i am still picking off of a starboard there is absolutely no reason why anybody in this game cannot do what i just done and get all the way to the top of the ladder okay so if any for any reason why you might be struggling in your current tier <coughs> excuse me i've just gone and given you the golden ticket to get to the top okay it will help obviously if you do have team um supports okay i'm not going to lie if you don't have team supports it's going to be a lot more difficult because if their card procs they're going to beat you okay so you you, you are kind of going to be a bit unlucky with procs but here for example skating it's for the team that's used that straight away it's going to give me that boost then play makes it candles all going to do is pick somebody who's got better than 68 skating to start with or at least the same 68 because once i get the boost it's going to give me a boost i'm going to pick one of my weaker cards you don't look like one of the better cards that i have so we'll throw you in with the plus 11 skating we're going to get this win and we're off to a winning start okay doesn't matter that he just procked easy going same again we go to the next one playmaking and skating well, look i've got playmaking and skating let's guarantee myself to win here boom i should probably kept that card that was a bad choice guys because actually no, it doesn't matter 18 focus isn't too bad i, I should have probably kept it i should have kept the higher skating and focus cards because i was always going to win that one with with plus 18 playmaking so here we got here focus and stick handling um focus is good stick handling is we could lose uh, focus we win stick handling we could lose uh we could draw with stick handling and we win with focus so let's just hope it's focus and it's stick handling so a draw is a win just so you're aware okay if you draw you win as long as you didn't proc just so you guys can see so draw isn't the end of the world unless it, obviously if they proc you'd lose um this makes sure you don't lose up here playmaking and skating again playmaking skating we've got 72 and 81 it's going to be more than enough and as long as this one comes in we're straight to the top doesn't really matter because we're gonna have two sh two bites at the cherry and they've got no no chance of being able to stop us from winning so again straight to the top guys <coughs> excuse me look on the right all plus fours if you weren't using the hot streaks that would be all plus twos no reason why you can't get 20 points which is the maximum you can get or 40 points and um, that's what i've seen anyway i'm pretty sure you can't get any more uh, if someone's managed to do more please correct me but i'm obviously using a tier in legendary plus plus and a team which is in super rare the very bottom which is as low as you can go another 10 picks so guys i'm going to conclude the video with that that is gold dust information for those of you who didn't realize that for those of you who maybe were struggling with your teams uh, now you shouldn't be from what i've seen in the game you should be able to get to the top pretty consistently but <coughs> but here is a little caveat i am noticing when i'm using my legendary plus plus team that there are occasions where um the computer will give me a couple of harder harder people okay so i i there have been a couple of times where i've not made it to the top and some of those i could have i could have got to the top by making a different decision later down for example not going for the double point match and keeping a better card towards the end but if you have got two team kind of supports like this and you can cover three of the disciplines say if you had focus and skating and focus and playmaking both teams perfect as long as you can give yourself that that little bonus so probably ultra rare and above because you really want that plus seven plus nine kind of bonus you don't want to be going much less a rare a rare is isn't going to do enough if the card procs but ultimately one kind of team team one like this <coughs> excuse me an ultra rare epic and then maybe another team rare or super rare if that's all you've got will help you get to the top 
the majority of the time, as you've seen there, I've just got to the top twice from absolutely no problems. I've got myself 40 points from one of them. So if you like the video, please let me know in the comments section below. Please support me by giving me a thumbs up. If that helps you in this event, then I'm great. Please don't overtake me in the event because that isn't the aim of it. It's not the aim of it to make all you guys so superb that you will jump ahead of me. But if you do, then congratulations, good luck to you. I'm hoping that can help you guys rise up to the ranks. I'm up to 381 now after that. So if I can keep doing this over the course of the weekend, which I'm not too sure I'm going to be able to because I've got work and then I've got a busy Sunday with the fiancé. So it's uh, we're not too sure what's going to happen, but I'm going to try and keep myself somewhere to get some kind of reward, at least at least the legendary pro and probably try and go probably try and keep myself around that regular star pro even if i don't go for the event card so as i said again please guys let me know if you enjoyed the video give me a like if it has helped you it helps me and if i can help you in the process then i'm a happy guy yes i'm really enjoying the rain the ring because something you can just pick up play put down come back to later it's not too hard and as i've just shown you guys even if you don't have a good deck you can still be very very competitive in this event thank you people on my time Signing out. See you all soon.